Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna be reacting to the world's cheapest people. I'm talking cheap. Like, you think you know cheap? These people are the cheapest of the cheap. Like Mr. Krabs level. Like, they make Mr. Krabs look frugal. I don't even know if you know what that word means. I do know what that means. That means that he saves his money. So, that's pop, the opposite of what you just said. Pop-up definition? They make Mr. Krabs look like he's a baller. Yes, that's what I meant to say. I just confirmed on Google, frugal is a word when you're not a baller. All right, yes. these people are very frugal then. That's what I meant to say. Are we ready? Yes. <sighs> Begin. Barbershop owner Barry Cosart lives in Queens, New York with his fiance. And although his customers tolerate him cutting both hair and costs, Gabriella does not. To save on toilet tissue, I use uh, 10 pieces, 10 squares, every day. That's a daily routine. Sometimes Gabriella, she's like, no. And we get in a little, you know, a little argument over that, a little petty. But uh, this, I try to save as much as possible. Barry can be so cheap, it drives me crazy. Barry leaves me with 10 pieces of toilet paper. Now my payback to Barry, I leave him with absolutely nothing. Wait, 10 squares? 10 toilet paper squares per day. And at first I thought it was 10 squares for him, 10 squares for the girlfriend, but no, it's just 10 squares total, total. What if you drop a big eater, a big steamer in there, bro? What are you gonna do? I'm just letting you know a brother is running through 10 squares before 8 a.m. Dude, I remember back in the day, this dude used to clog the toilet damn near every time he would take a dump. Sorry to put you no, on No, no, it's fact. true, it's true. But it wasn't even because the dumps were so big. Dude, 10 pieces? I used 10 pieces just for one wipe, bro. I'm serious, 10, bro? bro. But what What I want to know is, when they do have a big heater, a big stinker, and they run out, say he uses all of it, leaves none for her. What does she do? What does she do? And women need it. Leaves. Women use it all the time. Leaves. Today. Maybe during the pandemic days, this was a strategy that we could have used. Yep, yep, yep. But in today's day and age, one big heater is minimum 12. <laughs> Minimum, Minimum 12. Because I'm two square per wipe type guy. So Dude. 10 squares is only five wipes. I've used a whole roll before on one when it's bad, you know? Oh we my God, on, bro. bro. Do we want to go out to eat? Or are we going to come back home? Because I know usually you don't like to go out when there's food in the fridge. How about we actually go out and eat? You can just see in his face. She said, let's go out to eat. And this dude's like... Maybe next year. Do I, do I say no again for like the fifth month in a row or do I finally let her convince me? I do have to point out something here. The foam posits, the shoes that he's wearing, those are $600 plus shoes. Those are expensive, bro. Okay, so I don't know. The math Dude. isn't mathing. And right her now. shoes too, those gotta be expensive. Look how long those things oh are. God, all the way up to her thighs. Oh my gosh. A dollar per inch, those things are like $600 too. Barry has discovered a way to go out and then eat. It's gonna be good. Driving for as little as 15 minutes can heat a car engine to temperatures of approximately 200 degrees, as hot as most stovetops. By cooking simple ingredients on the engine, he saves on home utilities like gas and electricity. I'll cook that food on the car engine. Bro, I was joking. I thought he was gonna let her convince him, but this dude said, let's go out to eat. And that's literally what they did. They went out and then ate. <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on a car engine? Dude, look how cold it's snowing outside too. Bro, if, if your woman is letting you do stuff like that, that's how you know she's a real one, you know? Yeah. She don't want you for nothing else than you. Imagine going on your first date and this is what Buddy pulls out on you. Whoa! Like, hey, we going to Mitsubishi. Oh, what, that, what is that restaurant? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> You know, I know Barry, and I know how he is, and I don't know why I expected something more than this. Gabriella hates my cheap ways, but um, she knows that's just how I am. I, I just love saving money. I love being cheap. That's just me. <laughs> Woo -wee. That was a big one. It's gonna be a big clean up too. Oh no, I want my last two pieces of toilet paper. Ooh, I gotta make these really count. Oh, get it in there, get it all. Oh, no way, no way. Yo, Ricky! What's up, bro? I'm out of toilet paper. Can I have some more toilet paper? 10 a day, you know the rules. Bro, please can I have some more? It's a big one. I don't care how big it is. How else are we gonna save that 30 cents a year? 
I'm all out, bro. I just used the last two pieces. Think about the 30 cents a year, okay? Find a way. I don't care what you do, find a way. This is what you're not gonna have. 10 pieces more tomorrow. He's really not giving me any more. He was serious about that 10 piece limit. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh, this is it. This towel. Yes. Oh my, so close. Oh, so close. Oh my goodness, there's nothing I can use. I gotta go back to the classic, the hand. Oh, scrape, scrape, scrape. I got it all. Yes, here goes nothing. I had to go spin on a little bike to get my workout on. Getting on it and pedaling, I'm just in that zone and I get burning, you feel the burn? I'm listening to my tunes. It just feels good to exercise and I just love it. All right, here's your stuff. I see Jenny probably two times a week. When Jenny first came, I thought she was in the market to purchase a piece of exercise. Wait. No way. No. Wait. I thought she was in the gym. Yeah, so. Is she not in the gym? She's in a store. She goes to the store, rides the bike. She's training on a bike that's not hers. No shame. No shame. Sweating. Look at her dripping. That's like going to Dick's Sporting Goods and then just hopping on one of the machines in the back or running around the track they have around the store and getting a workout in. And then the owner said I see her twice a week. <laughs> Imagine coming in. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna test this bike. I wanna make sure I wanna get this one. Gotta make sure. Ooh, oh, she's putting the miles in. Most customers will come in and uh, you know demo the equipment maybe two or three times before making a purchase. All right, thanks guys. I appreciate it very much. Good luck this season. After six or seven visits, I realized that Jenny wasn't here to demo the equipment. Instead of going to gyms, I just go to these sporting goods stores for about 45 minutes a day. Right. See it. Going to a gym, paying for a membership. I mean, that's like $75 a month. $75 a month? She needs to hear about Planet Fitness because that's about $10. $10 a month. She's talking about Equinox and then bougie ones. <laughs> Come on. LA Fitness times 20. Oh or just, goodness. I mean, if she's doing that two times a week, she could just buy an actual bike. Facebook Marketplace, there's probably a good deal, like maybe $10 yeah. on there, right? Come on. Come on, Jenny. Dude, imagine she just, she goes in there and she has her full gym bag, headphones, magazine, phone, and she's like just training, bro. Like going hard. That is exactly what she is doing. On the average, most people, they fill up their tanks once, twice a week. It can cost $60, $70 to fill up a tank. And then you go home and park your car in the garage and you may not go nowhere. So you just spend $60. To sit. You spend sixty dollars to sit, but the gas doesn't just like leave your tank. She, you park she, it in your garage. She acting like the gas evaporates if you don't use it right then. Yeah, yeah. she's like, what? You you spend sixty dollars, but then you park? No. Hey, can I get three dollars and thirty six cents worth of gas? You sure can. When it comes to gas, gas is kind of like makeup. You know, less is more. No, that's huh? not how it works. More gas equals more fuel and more miles, which means you can go more places. If anything, getting it all at once, you save the money because you don't have to drive to the gas station multiple times. I get it if you can't afford the gas, like a full tank, but she definitely got money saved. Yeah. 365 is what she just asked to put in. That's like a gallon. One gallon. Barely a gallon. It depends where you live. That's maybe a half a gallon. Jenny, man, Jenny. She really thinks she's evaporating. When I get gas, I only get a gallon at a time. One gallon of gas, one gallon a day, saves me money. Restricts where I go. Yes. <sighs> Hello, how are you? Can I just get two cents on pump one? Two cents on one? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Stephanie's job as a flight attendant keeps her traveling for 20 days a month. But when she's not up in the air, her home is in Dallas, Texas. My mother used to say, make sure you turn out the light before you leave the room. And of course, nobody pays attention to that until I started paying the bill. Before I leave, I turn off all the electricity at the circuit breaker. Even though I'm not using my appliances, they're still sucking up electricity. Standby power can draw as much as 250 watts a day from major appliances. By cutting the electricity to everything but the refrigerator, Stephanie saves an average of $30 a month on her electric bill. When the passengers leave the plane, I go through and check for a meal that's left by a pilot or a passenger. There's really neat stuff here, like ravioli, 
Pasta Primavera. Bro, I can't even blame her. That stuff looks good and sounds good. This one, I agree with what she's doing, honestly. And saving the money with yep. electricity too. So not a big inconvenience, you know? Yeah. It's like pretty. She's not like home most of the time and she just leaves the refrigerator on so her food doesn't go bad. I think I, I'm rocking with Stephanie right now. And Stephanie. she's not eating like food that's all like open and everything. She makes sure it's packaged. That's key. I'm gonna have to go with Stephanie's plan. And it is bringing home with the airlines left over. Oh my gosh. Refrigerator and it looks like a deli. The food is perishable items. They're gonna throw it away if I don't take it home and eat it. Hey, if she don't take it, they gonna throw it away. So, can't blame her. She has sandwiches for days, bro. Bro, she, I agree with her the most so far. In first class, they serve mixed nuts. In main cabin, they serve the regular nuts. And in your mouth, they serve both of my nuts. Ha! <laughs> Got <he. laughs> I did not know that. I like cashew nuts. Dang, so first class gets mixed nuts. That's worth that extra couple hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> now, if they're unopened, you're not allowed to take them. But of course, if they're open, I bag them up. Wait, you said you're rocking with her taking the food because they're not open. But she just said here, she can only take it if it's been open. But can you blame the lady for just getting extra nuts, bro? She's just searching for that nut. I was rocking with Stephanie until she said that. And look how much nuts she has. Has. Dude, she loves nuts. She has a whole bunch. Almost as much as this guy right here. You don't even consume as many nuts as she's consuming. Dude, you guys can have both of these nuts in your mouth, bro. I bring them home. A jar of mixed nuts is about eight. Dude, months. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie, bro. She literally poured out like two peanuts in that one, bro. But hey, two nuts. But someone's Normal. hand was in there. That's like that's, grease. That's yeah. the part that'd be throwing me off. Because if they're open, that means someone was in there handling all of those nuts. <laughs> and, and then she just goes in for sloppy seconds. Right? <laughs> they're good for snacking. And they're really good for protein. That was, that's nasty. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um... He knows what's up. The covers that go on the airline pillows are thrown away at the end of the day. Most flight attendants don't want those dirty pillows, but I found good use for them. <laughs> Before I do anything, I make she sure boiling a pillow? I boil them down. By boiling the pillow covers, you're basically sanitizing them, getting rid of any germs or lice or anything that passengers might have left behind. They make, voila, the perfect coffee filter. These pillowcase coffee filters save Stephanie about $6 a year. People's heads! Oh, wait, wait, I'm gonna say. Wait, wait, All that for $6 a year, bro. 50 cents a month. And people's heads. You're, 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 you're risking You're filtering your the coffee. You're filtering the coffee through something that was on someone's head. You're risking your health to save $6 a year. And probably, that takes up a lot of time. She could probably just walk around and find $6 on the ground. With all the time she takes boiling, cutting, chopping. Letting it dry. 50 cents a month, that works out to about 1.2 cents a day. What I've determined determined is to make the perfect fluffy pillow you need four little airline pillows Stephanie has what I thought from a distance looks like a nice blanket and to a closer investigation it's a bunch of little airline blankets or something she took and she sold them together <laughs> Your husband is jokes, bro. Is that husband? I, I, right? I think so. I think so. I think so. Oh my goodness, she sold. They're they're actually soft. These are actually soft blankets, by the way. Uh, how do you know? Long. You, you were over at Stephanie's. Yeah, I, eating I, some nuts. I was just I was chilling with Stephanie the other day, man. Now that when you have like long flights, they give you blankets, and they're actually really soft. So I don't blame her, but it's just funny how the husband was like, they look great, and then under closer investigation, there's four gray airline blankets on the top, and then there's four red ones on the bottom. So Still up on layer? I'm not sleeping on that. I don't think it's a good idea because other people have been on those blankets. You don't know what they've been doing on them. <laughs> <laughs> made my comforter filling with airline pillows. I tolerate Stephanie being tight, being cheap, being frugal because I love her. Hey, welcome back. Hope you have a good rest of your day, okay? We can pack it. What's going on here? Sometimes the tenants in this building will drop stuff and it's, you know, kind of good to double check. You never know what you're gonna get. Huh? Got a nickel, got a quarter, and a stick of gum.
As a doorman concierge in New York City, I have the key to the city. But you got jokes. I've given RJ mostly clothes, uh, pants, uh, some running sneakers. That guy, Why does it, this dude doesn't seem real? Why does this guy sound like he's talking with uh, the doorman holding a gun to like his side right now? Like, yeah. I'm giving him my, my pants and my, <laughs> my shirts and my underwear. Like forcing him, like forcing him. It wasn't the fact that he went back there and checked because like I feel like doorman be checking and like taxi driver be checking, but the way he was like all up in there, like lifting the seat, like he you ran gotta, back. You gotta be efficient, bro. He even told the taxi, say, yo, 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 hold on, don't leave yet, bro. Let me get in there and actually scope. <laughs> It out. I mean, the taxi driver probably already knows what's up. He's like, I've got RJ coming back <laughs> to check for goods. Yo, okay. the taxi driver probably puts like a couple of nickels back there just so he can, so he can find it. Work. He's like a little dog. He's, he's like a little dog where you know, the trees make a little trail. He's like, nickel, nickel. Yeah. Maybe a little Jolly Rancher. Make his day. He's like, RJ's coming. Here we go. Right this way, sir. Right thank this way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait, wait. I have to see if my client left anything. Oh my gosh! I must find something in here! What's going on back there? It'll just be a moment. Oh, oh, a nickel and a whole pistachio. The average rent to live in Manhattan is around $3,900. But I managed to live rent-free in New York for the past two years. What? what? That's not his bro. RJ is balling in Manhattan, bro. Something not added up. We gotta hear what he has to say. Oh yeah, I need to hear this. Instead of renting or subletting or whatever these other people do, I managed to live rent-free, like from place to place, babysit, dog sit, plant sit. I sit for everybody. I do not sublet, I know let. <laughs> Started off strong with that first joke, the doorman joke, got the keys to the city, but that last one, RJ. <laughs> All right, Jake, come on. We gotta have a little talk after this one, buddy. I use this cart to kind of go from place to place to place. You know, when I'm house sitting or cat sitting or plant sitting, I just kind of have this with me and all my stuff's in here. Everything on this cart goes with me everywhere. When you try to push the mobile cart around New York City, that's not fun, that's not easy. I get every look in the world. Cars honk at me all the time. I've had my altercation with a cab or two, but I keep it moving. I've had my altercation with a cab or two when I go check for the change in the back. <laughs> when I'm in the back seat. He's like, yeah, sometimes I like to just wave them down, act like I'm gonna get in, but really, I just scour the back seat real quick and then uh, dip. <laughs> You can't blame RJ though. Yeah, yeah I can't blame him. This is dope. Tour yeah. the tour the city, different houses. Nice houses, you bro. Know what I'm saying? Like, can't blame him. Honestly, you're kind of smart. Hey, RJ. I've been to places that I don't even think are on the map. Really quick, the brief rundown. Okay. Um, this is the rabbit. His name is Sir Winston. Winston. Okay. So house plans pretty easy. Yeah. Just water as you see needed. Um, mail would go here. I prefer to have somebody stay in my house whenever I leave town. Your house is in good hands. Don't even worry about it. Thank you, RJ. Bye. Bye. Your house is in good hands. As soon as she leaves, locks the door. <laughs> <laughs> Do they know he's staying? Because he didn't mention it. No, yes. No, they, they gotta know. They gotta know. But I wonder how he finds all these people. Uh, he probably oh, meets yeah. so many of them oh, from yeah. just opening the doors and stuff, too. Bye. Bye. Starts checking the couches. Being a no let, very, very simple. If you move it, you put it back. If you mess it up, you clean it up. Just have some respect. If you take something, make sure they don't find it. <laughs> I mean, I don't even have a permanent place to live. That's the sacrifice. Bro, I know y'all just saw the face yep. of this man. But just found a nickel in the couch. <laughs> this dude, he just hit the most devious lick of all time. He's like, Ooh. What is he doing with his money? Come on, he's getting paid for this, at least. What does he do? Bro, might have found a quarter in the couch low key, bro. Maybe even a dollar with the way this face is. Look. <laughs> He looked like he might start going in on something right now. Okay, silly rabbit, here we go. Okay, okay, baby. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys! If you enjoyed this reaction, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on because we're going to be dropping more reactions, more vlogs on this channel. We're going hard. We love you guys. And until next time, yee yee! Now subscribe. I know you're still watching and you didn't subscribe. Yes. And click the notifications. Come click on. the notifications. What are you gonna do to them, huh? We're piecing you up tonight. Yeah.